so today we want to discuss covid recovery long covid and some spiritual factors that affect our lives and our children's lives now uh, the covid issue is main it's a virus of course but the virus affects our immune system in a very severe way so first phase is the viral disease so you have to give early molecules to prevent the virus spreading that's the principle of uh, antiviral therapy early molecules that will spread the virus spreading and as i have said before this virus is a diabolical virus that it uses one of the most prevalent receptors of our body to get into our body it's called the ace2 receptor it's involved in our blood pressure control and also control of our immune system in every locality so if that uh, that it is called the renin angiotensin system uh, so angiotensin is a molecule that affects our controls our blood pressure controls our kidney supply and strangely it controls recording in progress it controls local so i'm dr lalit mendis this is my 256th broadcast on long covid and covid recovery and the spiritual factors behind it uh, we are living in an age of science when we have thought nothing metaphysical is true everything i can understand everything uh, science can understand of course many things science can understand i was head of department of pharmacology in a state medical faculty and uh, i was batch top in every exam in the colombo medical faculty we had only two medical faculties then peradeniya and colombo i was the best student of both medical faculties there were only two colombo and medical colombo and peradeniya so i gave you a little bit of background i am dr lalit mendes uh, for this reason science is very helpful uh, but what happened was what has happened in the covid situation is we know that it is indisputable that the virus was made in a laboratory and it's leak that when the virus began to spread it was not acknowledged that there is human to human spread so we went all over the world then the virus itself attaches to the ace2 receptor and the spike protein of the virus is so designed uh, now when i say design you make the mrna and the mrna makes the protein of a virus this virus has four main proteins the spike protein nucleocapsid protein and two other proteins but it is the spike protein that makes it attached to the human body when i say human body to the ace2 receptor of the human body so the ace2 receptor is found in many many organs of the body so human body so where so it's found in our lung found in our heart brain gut our gonads our uh, fat tissue so that is why diabetic patients and people and fat people whose ma- basal metabolic index is higher than 23 uh, they are more prone to get severe disease people with dark skin are more prone to get severe disease because your vitamin d is low people in who are always inside uh, Uh, inside uh, office situations or always working in front of led lights are due to get, will get more severe disease so those that's a subset of people who will get the severe disease so the first thing to do is at this time take a large dose of vitamin d why vitamin d vitamin d is responsible for making the pro resolver molecules of our immune cascade So what is the immune cascade there are molecules which are called interleukins they are called cytokines and there are other other molecules like tumor necrosis factor and so on so the the attack part of the immune molecules go attack the uh, foreign invasion bacteria or virus or whatever it is but their problem is once they are on the attack you have to have some other molecules to cool down the attack otherwise the attacking Uh, molecules damage your own tissue so that is called a cytokine reaction cytokine storm the pro resolver molecules that cools down the immune attack are dependent on vitamin d so people who are vitamin d deficient 
uh, get clinically severe disease. So that is why we must, uh, you must do your best uh, to uh, take vitamin D. My suggestion is if we uh, take uh, at 160,000, there's an oral little morgulia like thing, daily vitamin C, then the zinc iron is helpful to transport these good molecules ac across the membranes. That's why the zinc is important. Then some people have recommended vitamin A also, that's fine. Then take omega-3 fish oil molecules help in making this pro-resolver molecules. If you are low in IL-4 and IL-10 and TN TNF gamma, then your reaction goes bad because those molecules help you to cool the reaction, so to say. IL-6 is the molecule that goes on the attack that causes a lot of problems. Uh, so the wonderful thing is this particular, uh, the drug that you that can be given early, which has been recommended by the Professor of Colombo Medicine, that drug uh, will stop the IL-6 action, which is damaging the tissue. So our first effort is stop the virus spreading. This virus spreads from from cell to cell, it can move, avoiding the antibodies in the bloodstream or in the interstitium. So, he, you know, you have the, you, let's say this is your cell, this is the next cell, just imagine, and this is another cell. Now, normally, virus has to come out of the cell and come to the interstitium. Then the antibodies can get at the virus. But this virus makes a bond called the syncytial bond between two cells and this virus doesn't come out to meet the antibodies but will go from this cell to the next cell and then the virus spreads very rapidly across the lung. This is why you need early molecules to stop the virus spread and those molecules are available. They are very cheap. Now they have been authorized by the Sri Lanka NMRA has authorized the bringing of the drug and each physician clinician can prescribe it according to his choice. So I have written an article on this in the College of General Practitioners newsletter. If you are interested in the article, I can send it to you. Please WhatsApp me on 0763134800. Ask him for what you want. Uh, so if you are from abroad, 9476. 3134800. Also, uh, my app is available for free download, uh, which is Golden Nuggets. La Dr. Larit Menis, I am Dr. Larit Menis. My last substantive post was, I said, a Department of Pharmacology in a state medical faculty. That's why I speak a lot about pharmacology. Uh, so, that app is called Golden Nuggets. That's also available from App Store as well as Google. You'll get all this. Uh, scientific talks. This is my 256th one. The singular version of this will be uh, tomorrow, Sunday at about, probably at about 3 p.m. Yes. Uh, so let it be known. So I was at the point of stopping the virus, then stopping the cytokine excess reaction for which you take vitamin D and this early mo molecule specifically helps in stopping what the COVID virus is doing. That's why every physician should prescribe this. It is available for prevention also. Then once, the, so our attempt is to not allow the patient to get hypoxia. If the patient gets hypoxia, by the time your saturation is dropping to below 96, you must go to a hospital if that happens. I have done many clips about uh, early management, seventh day. Today I'm going to concentrate on long COVID after recovery. Uh, so. After recovery, you need to continue the drugs your physician gives you. Now, it is generally becoming recommended that you get low-dose aspirin to prevent the blood clotting because there's a, uh, your platelet system and the clotting system get involved in the COVID virus immune reaction. That's why during uh, convalescence, some people got better and went home. During convalescence, they got a thrombus and died. Some famous people, this happened, you know that. Uh, that is because this blood clotting anomaly. So more and more physicians may put you on uh, low-dose aspirin. Uh, that's a cardiprin kind of drug that is given to prevent, uh, keep the platelets, so to say, quiet because platelets also get involved in an unusual immune reaction. That's the effect of this virus spike protein. 
So that's one drug that may be continued. Second one is because the lung immune reaction is can be reduced early, early in your disease. I of course recommend as you become COVID positive and symptoms appear to take it, butacinide inhalation, which is an inhalation given for asthma, which is very, uh, very safe. Uh, so many physicians continue that on discharge also. So continue the drugs you the physician puts you on. Then as I said, omega-3 fatty acids, those capsules are helpful to keep your immune molecules in good shape. Continue with your vitamin D large dose. That's very helpful. Then, uh, so, uh, what we, the, the certain other drugs have been used in certain uh, clinical trials, a drug called fluoxamine, a drug called famotidine, these have been found to be useful. And when the reaction is very severe, when the lung reaction is very severe and you're in hospital, there's a drug called metaprolol, usually a heart drug, a heart drug, but this helps to reduce your lung reaction. So once you're in hospitals, private uh, hospitals as well as government hospitals will use a thing called triple therapy. They will use a drug called dexamethasone to reduce your cytokine reaction. They'll use a drug called enoxyparin to stop your blood clotting tendency. It's called a blood thinner. And they will also use an intravenous antibiotic. Now, none of these things are you supposed to take from home. You must be in a hospital because these are all intravenous. Don't experiment with these drugs. You must consult your doctor. So Sri Lanka has a very good uh, home management system. You have to inform your PHI and get on to it. 1390 is the common uh, number. Uh, many doctors are on call. 40 family physicians are also on call behind the, be, behind the lines to help in whatever necessity. If you want an uh, ambulance suddenly because your oxygen is des desaturating, don't wait at home. Any uh, sudden symptom, you can also get the ambulance on 190, 1990 or 247. Uh, if you are in trouble, please keep, write those numbers down and keep. Then once you come home, rest is the most important thing uh, because uh, your, uh, your body has gone through like a war, like a marathon. Rest is absolutely essential as much as possible bed rest only do the absolutely necessary things like body functions. If you have be, had diarrhea, hydrate yourself very well. That is very important even after you come from hospital. Keeping your hydration level high is important. Then uh, your metabolic rate may be higher and uh, doctor, your doctor may prescribe something for you to quieten your metabolic rate. So don't get into work from Zoom, homework, cleaning, dusting. Please don't. Though you have recovered, your lung will take over two months to recover if your lung was involved. Please listen, tell your relatives. Uh, so, uh, uh, because having come home also, it is better to be prone, put your stomach down and breathing exercises, deep breathing exercises, watch your temperature. If your CRP was high, C-reactive protein was high, you need to check it again, your doctor will tell you. The disease severity is dependent on CRP being high, your neutrophil lymphocyte ratio being high. One problem of this disease is your lymphocytes, which are your immune cells, go run down. They get destroyed. So that's the diabolical nature of this virus. It attacks your immune system and immune system takes time to come back to normal level. That's why you have to avoid crowds, avoid dust, don't go doing this, that and the other. Let the next four weeks be, be quite restful. While in bed, keep your muscles like uh, every hour, give a little muscle exercise. You don't have to move your limbs. Think of your thighs and tighten it. Think of your gastrocnemius, that is your calf muscle and tighten it. And when you are lying down on the bed, imagine this is your foot, write the alphabet with your foot, you know. You get what I mean? Then the foot muscles, the calf muscles get into good action. You know, you can write C, you can write Tyan, you can write Ryan, whatever. Uh, so every hour, at, for about five minutes, you have to do these things. Keep your deep breath exercises going. Then I told you that your doctor may continue aspirin. Your doctor may continue uh, budesonide. 
Your doctor may continue an antibiotic for a few days. Some doctors may continue dexamethasone for a few days, only a few days. And now these only doctors must write, you must not uh, experiment. You will need a follow-up within about seven days of being discharged with your physician because it is important to see whether your lung is further getting involved or not, whether any other tissues are getting involved. Uh, and resting is the, is the absolutely important thing that really helps you. Then uh, there are nutraceuticals that will help you. Cinnamon tea helps. Netherlands University has done a research project on this. Uh, cinnamon tea will help. That is to say, uh, cinnamon tea twice a day or once a day. But if you are on statins, you can't take cinnamon tea. Helps in the lung resolution. Then they have found in research... Uh, Cloves, biting cloves, having cloves in food helps. Karabu nati, just biting even helps. Then quercetin helps, which means lot of tea. Uh, China did a lot of studies on herbal stuff. There are three important molecules involved in resolution of the immune system. And one is quercetin. And all three are found in tea. So please drink a good mug of tea every hour. No sugar. You may add a little milk. Uh, plainer the better but lot of tea drinking is curative it's called quercetin quercetin is also found in onions and in pear and apple bromelain is found in pineapple so skin the pineapple slightly while those eyes like thing are there if you eat your pineapple it gives you bromelain flavonoids are found in orange and so on the white stuff of the orange is the important one now, why are we talking about nutraceuticals? Because, now remember I was head of Department of Pharmacology in a state medical faculty. That's why I'm talking about this. I'm published on PubMed also. Because Western doctors don't like to speak of herbal stuff or natural stuff. Uh, quite apart from the fact that God might have created all these things for our own good, there is a branch of medicine called pharmacognosy. How, uh, for instance, uh, this at the beginning long years ago, uh, okay, here is 1970 Boringer, the German company came to Sri Lanka because they had heard Ardathoda is working well in the in the in the natural in the, in the national system or the indigenous system. Ardathoda was working well, and the Western medicine didn't have a molecule. Listen to me carefully. Didn't have a molecule that could put down the mucus secretion of the bronchus without stopping the ciliary reaction. So the idea is ciliary reaction must happen to get the mucus out. So cilia are my, microscopic. So they keep, must keep working. All Western drugs like antihistamines stop the ciliary reaction so that bad mucus keeps going down. So Boringer, the German company, came to Sri Lanka and they took Ardathoda and they discovered the active molecule of Ardathoda is bromhexine. So bromhexine to this day is the best molecule to get your uh, mucus secretions out without stopping your ciliary reaction. So that's what pharmacognosy is. Uh, so even in this COVID situation, very early take bromhexine proved in research. So the Oxford Stoic trial has proved budesonide. The inhaler must be taken early. Bromhexine must be taken early. Another old molecule called promethacin, what was known as phenagon syrup. Phenagon syrup is no more available, but the promethacin tablet is available. Early, it will help to quell the lung reaction and the gut reaction. Because the lung reaction or the gut reaction, especially in the Delta variant, may cause a cyno cyno uh, cytokine storm that not only causes hypoxia and diarrhea, it can cause a multi-organ trouble. Uh, and if the if all the organs are organs get involved, including the kidney, best of centers in the world, your life is under threat. There are friends I know whose life is under threat because they were not given the early treatment. We have tried hard. Uh, a professor friend of mine has written to authorities also saying this should be done. It is still not implemented, but uh, thankfully many many general practitioners are implementing the right treatment. And my article on this matter is available on College of General Practitioners Sri Lanka newsletter. If you want to read it, please send me a 
whatsapp number don't ring me on it but send a whatsapp number to 0763134800 so those are some of the nutraceuticals that will help you garlic curry helps you rasam helps you uh, you know rasam tambu hodi which normally has black pepper helps ginger helps suduru kaluduru that is nigel acetivum they all help the the research has been done in western universities uh, i have written a long article on long long covid if you want that it's available on my blog drlalitmendiswordpress.com i can send you the link or else i have written a separate the article form also can be sent to you and my recommendations this is all backed by research in a short talk like this i can't give you all the references Uh, so it is a tragedy that sri lanka has such a rich indigenous heritage of good medicine available but western medicine is not researching and not recommending at this time this issue did not arise so far of course we know that for kadum bidum and fractures osteoarthritis the uh, indigenous physicians had stuff we did time we know that we all know that so if in a immune trouble if indigenous people have what we don't have we need to do some scientific research so that quacks don't carry the day isn't it if we don't do scientific research quacks carry the day so it's 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 a unnecessary polarization so at least i have bordered on the nutraceuticals which is you know not not uh, not any heresy we we do you know we when we were small we were given tambu modi you remember now it is scientific that it helps uh, similarly the other things i recommended Uh, what else have i got to say about the long covid uh, so people have got thrombotic tendencies and have died then some have got myocarditis long after the resolution so rest and keeping watch is very important now i want to get into my other section of the topic i called it seven emotions seven characters that you need to realize in you in which measure what plays most I don't want to say play up what plays most. Now look at the seven, uh, seven emotions or uh, shall I call it character abilities, and you best if you know them you might be able to handle them. If not, you can get help to handle them. Here are the seven. Uh, since we have gifts differ according to the grace given to us. Grace is that ability. maybe the good shepherd's help to function as dad or mom or doctor lawyer whatever grace is a an acknowledgement that man is not sufficient by himself now i have no quarrel with people who say man is by assumption by himself i was like that till i got through my advanced level from st thomas's college mount libany i say this often and i became first in the island in the 1970 a level examination my head was you know it was bloated i got you know mastishka uh, pradaya that is just my head was anyway big and it got about quadruple the size and at the same time i found that my very selfish uh, perform nature was coming up so when my brain got brilliant i found my heart was shrinking i understood that uh, so thankfully through certain uh, Uh, what shall I say? It's a, a certain chain of events. I realized that as my ba- brain got more brilliant, more research, uh, my heart was shrinking, and I I just didn't care for people. I just want to get on with knowledge and brilliance. That's what happens to brain brilliance. That's what happens when you worship science. You just want to get to the top of everything, research the last bit of knowledge, advance every frontier of knowledge. That's my natural bent. So even in COVID time, it became useful. I'm published on PubMed. I have written articles uh, about Parkinsonism and aspirin and so on. Medically published, new stuff. Uh, so it helped. But at that stage, when I was a young uh, entrant in the medical faculty, it was a big nuisance. Uh, nuisance meaning everybody admired my brain, but my character, style, the way I spoke, gave nobody a chance. You know, and this this I realized was wrong. and i came to an understanding i had a change of heart what i found was when my brain was becoming brilliant my heart was shrinking the two have a inversely proportional relationship like pressure and volume in boyle's law so when brain increases heart shrinks unfortunate recognizing this 
good shepherd came into my life, my ways changed, my talk changed, my batchmates realized Menda has changed. Uh, so here it is, so that is, grace is acknowledging for me to function best. I need a factor besides myself. Given to myself, S-E-L-F, self, I'll become impossible. Consider it and see. If you think yourself is superb, no quarrel. Then you will manage with yourself, isn't it? You, you say, I don't want grace. I, I'm superb. I'm all for justice. I'm always right. You know, I'm Mr. Right and I just write down everybody else's wrongs. Yeah, that is okay. If you think that is okay, it's okay. I have no quarrel. But I found grace is that added factor that is the spice of life to be salted by grace. It will touch every seven departments. Now I'm going to look at, okay, grace. So there is grace, each of us to exercise them accordingly. So there's a measure. Uh, so I will tell you the seven departments very quickly. So whatever your mainly operational department, faculty or facility is, when grace is there, the measure you have will get greater influence. That's the triangle. The, the gift, the grace, the measure. Measure decides your influence. Will you influence in your life 10 people? Or will you influence in your life 10,000 people? Will, you, will, will your profession, influence or company have 10 people employed or have 10,000 people involved? That is a measure, correct? So gift, grace, measure. We all work with this, though we may have not thought. I am saying that grace is an important factor that the Good Shepherd can add. Please consider it and see. Gift is also a gift. So we have to be humble with whatever we have. When I became first in the island, I wasn't humble. But the, by the time I was passing out as the best student of Colombo and Peradeniya Medical Faculties, my life had drastically changed. My brain was still brilliant functioning, but my attitude to life had heard a thing called grace. Distinct difference. All my batchmates knew that. Yes. Uh, grace given to us each and then the measure that comes out of it, that is the measure of life we will have. Substance, wealth, influence, measure. So what do we have? The first faculty is speculation or imagination. How much you can think through, ambition, dream. So there are some fields which all have to do with imagination like art, music but there is even in hard sciences research what is research what another has not thought about so when covid came around i kept saying this is not simply viral everybody called it a virus pneumonia which is a which was a mis misnomer very early in the disease i said this does not look like a virus pneumonia this is something far different from sars cov1 you remember we have SARS-CoV-1. Now we know it's a very, very complex immune reaction. Its pathogenesis is very complex. So that's why I said if doctors are listening, I have just re written my first article on long COVID and the immunological problems involved. Very complex. I needed to rack my brain quite a bit to get it through, but I got it through. I have sent it to most professors I know. Mm, you're a layman. Maybe that you are listening, but you know, COVID has entered public domain more than any other disease, correct? Everybody is interested in COVID and because it takes your loved one's life. You know, when I hear someone known to me getting COVID positive, I take about 15 minutes to recover. I send a prescription, yes. I pray for them also, yes. But still the uncertainty, if hypoxia come, will he return home? That's the issue. If lungs get involved, that person may be lost forever. That's the problem. That's why early therapy is so important. That is why preventing early therapy is so criminal. Uh, I'm very passionate about it because it's, it's about saving life. Uh, thankfully, a major professor in, uh, in, in, in Colombo has written on it. And he's a close friend of mine. We were in the same unit together in Prof. Colombo Medicine. Yes. Uh, so th I'm thankful for that. Anyway, getting back to this, uh, what is next? The, the, the gift to know what is next is speculative, it is imaginative. Your temporal brain is involved. 
so that is a faculty and businessmen use it for uh, speculation investments actuaries research people get that neck saying i got the neck saying this is not a virus pneumonia something much more is happening and it it happened to be this cytokine storm why is vitamin d important why do dark people suffer more why do people inside houses suffer more why do people who are clothed from top of the head to the tip of their toes suffer more so those are the questions i kept asking so that is a researcher's attitude here yeah. uh, so that is that faculty of exploring beyond the boundary so explorers had it mountaineers had it in business you need it professions you need it hard sciences you need it music arts and that kind of thing fully thrive on that faculty okay uh, so that is one but the flip side of that faculty is you may imagine far more than you are able when you ought to invest only 3 million you may invest 30 million and you may go bust if your business is serving let's imagine just uh, the 100 people to make investments and and additions that it may serve 300 is okay but if you take a f- flight of imagination you got the word flight of imagination that your 100 will is going to become 10000 so you buy a property and put lot of stuff on infrastructure and you crash you get the idea so imagination mu- must not be a flight imagination also must be a process so this is what happens to children on the digital screen they imagine beyond what they really can do and they can get into trouble that's the problem with with the digital screen uh, they can imagine that they are brilliant at different different things and uh, they 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 don't do their regular studies and they get into the world of imagination always imagining they know more than anybody else and not listening to anyone else yes uh, so take care about that i have to get my phone charge give me a minute i'll be finished soon oh yeah uh, so children on the pixel screen also do too much imagination they get into inattention their uh, their temporal lobe gets too activated uh, they need a kind of therapy that's what my research has been for the last 7 uh, 8 uh, years i have pioneered in empathic motor therapy for digital fantasizing parents bring children those days we have developed a thing called empathic learning center there's a facebook on it i have presented my uh, thesis and the therapeutic procedure to uh, slma in 2019 so it's available on the slma website as a cgps a college of general practitioners website as a downloadable doc i can send it to you you may be a teacher you may be just a dad or granddad you need to know and i have explained it in a way you can understand why the pixel screen wires of imagination and children shift from uh, empathic executive top down regulation and thinking to bottom up fantasizing flight fight fright it's an important topic affecting kids and young people a lot you need to know something and we have provided concrete solutions my article is available and if you want to get at it you can let me know on my whatsapp number uh, 0763134800 so this is that uh, speculative imaginative aspect of man okay uh, so second one is if service in is serving so there's a balance of this so your height of flight of imagination must be balanced with humble serving the greek word used there is diakonia uh, so somehow this good good shepherd put this serving factor in us so get your children to do to chose at home because harvard recently did a study and came out with uh, results that children who do home chores from the age of 4 do better in their undergraduate studies did you hear that who did the research harvard why has howard got to do research about children working at home where they don't work they are behind the pixel screen and parents are either scared or they are themselves on the pixel screen uh, so it's a very sad thing is abandoning child to the pixel screen so please tell you you may be a granddad somehow get your little fellows doing home chores they do their graduate studies better says howard of course our parents got us to do home chores isn't it 
we washed our dad's car and did so many other things. Yeah, the car that took us to school, we washed it, yeah. So serving is an important thing to balance the highty flighty imagination. Third factor is teaching the teachable attitude and you teach what you have learned so that taught nature is a great fence and a boundary. It's that discipline, the teaching, it's because you must have not only freedom, you must have form. So this emotion faculty of teaching and be taught. If you are not taught, you can't teach. So that that's a faculty God has set into us. I, I have seven of these, huh? so I'll be done in about ten more minutes here. I have seven of these, I'm on the third one. First one, the speculative, imaginative, fantastic one. Second one, the serving, humble one. Day-to-day -day things that make us great ultimately. Third one, the teaching, the parameters, the paths of righteousness, the vatat nirat guam kanam kartaki the e amaru, that's a nice singular proverb. The ridge and the fence, that's what teaching is. Life needs ridges, life needs fences. Fences to protect invasion from outside, ridges to self-regulate your supply of water and other stuff inside you. So two things about this teacher's attitude, we need it. And if the Good Shepherd is with you, he says, he says, I will lead you to green pastures, no brown and poison. I will take you to your next water spot, your hope, aspiration and imagination, I'll take you. And he says, I will uh, lead you in paths of righteousness, that's a little like teaching. And he says, I will provide for you a place of restoration when things go wrong. So the fourth one is about that, he who encourages, restores, that is also a faculty. We all need restoration. We all need forgiveness. So the restorers are people who can listen, absorb trouble, patient, long-suffering, bit of the nature of the lamb. Lamb, you know, it's said about the lamb, it gives its wool and waits till its wool is cut off. No protest. Try that with a goat, he'll headbutt you. But this lamb, he just waits, he's full of wool, and he says, I have come, uh, I, I, I am designed to give wool. I have come because uh, to make man warm. So that's the nature of uh, the, the restorer, encourage a nature. The character is called Barnabas, consolation. So have enough of that in your life. If you are short of it, it's good if your spouse has that or else have a circle of friends. So my first one is the imagination, go for it, enlarge, expand. That emotion is necessary, but it needs boundaries. So serving others with your expansion, with your investment, that is very important, serving others. Third one, the ridges and the fences, the paths of righteousness, okay? Fourth one, restoration. I will restore you. That's a promise. That's a time for recheck. People are able to recheck with people. I've told you this before, dopamine keeps driving. In 40 minutes, it must be over. Don't get into digital games because of that. And the next 15 minutes, serotonin looks at it and says how to improve, what went wrong. That's the function of serotonin, okay? So that's a restorative thing, how to improve this, what went wrong. Uh, that is important. There are people who are particularly gifted to take that role with another. Restore, that is four. Fifth one, handling money, giving with liberality, investing for the sake of others. So you don't play the stock market, you invest for the sake of others, you take a risk, but your investment provides livelihood. Why did God give you money? For investment to provide livelihood for others. What do, you, what do you think about that? Why were you born rich with a company that your father started, that you may continue the good work, invest it? for others' livelihoods. You will get richer, definitely. God will look after that. Good Shepherd will give you a good increase, but you say, I have money to invest, that others may also have livelihoods. That's, that's a very important function for money. Not to stack it away, not to stash it away, certainly not to black marketize it, but uh, those who have money are given with, be, to liberally broad-heartedly 
wisely investment for dividends in it other families are served agreed that nature also so there is a man wants to do well man wants to improve man wants to expand fine you want to be comfortable okay but you can't be an oppressor while you earn and rise others must be picked up lifted up that's how the good shepherd thinks that's how he gives you wealth that's how that's why he gives a doctor a doctor skill a lawyer a lawyer skill uh, all professions are supposed to be benefactors what i have is to benefit another that's what benefactor is our life attitude is what i have must benefit another that's how the good good shepherd thinks so that's the fifth one the uh, sixth one is a uh, Yeah, I have I have done imagination. I have done serving. I have done teaching. I have done encouraging or restoring. I have done investment. Now comes the sixth one, leading. So every dad is leader of his home. You are leader of four, or you you might be leader of four thousand. Difference is gift, grace, measure. So don't envy another's measure. Gift, grace. measure so one person's measure may be to lead your home lead a small job enterprise of 10 people or you are a coach then you know how many people you have in influence with your coaching ability another person's measure may involve 4000 10000 20000 so gift grace measure that's how the good shepherd has designed the world this is about leading i don't speak i don't want to speak too much about leading last one is show mercy with cheer so that's an important faculty uh, blessed are the merciful they shall be shown mercy blessed are the poor uh, god will look after them blessed are the mourning god will comfort them blessed are the meek they get more opportunities in good shepherd's design for influence what is meekness that you don't oppress others meekness is not weakness meekness is you have your space and you honor the space of others that's how the good shepherd appoints rulers so in his way of government meek are given to rule who are meek meek are those who have know their skill know their space and they make honor the space of others help others to occupy their space with fruitfulness be fruit that's what a leader does be fruitful multiply occupy your space fully productively and then you help others steward others to occupy their space and the leader takes guard against invasion that is so very important that's what ultimately a leader of a company is about protects what is there expanding what is there and prevent invasions aggressions coming inside uh, so the last one is mercy a very important factor in the eyes of uh, how god runs his world the good shepherd runs his world so i said uh, blessed are the meek they will have ruling authority in the way god does things blessed are the merciful they shall be shown mercy blessed are they that mourn that means when you see error you don't go for a fight when you see error you want to make it right r i g h t right but those who are pugilistic belligerent when they see error they want to w r i t e put it splash it social media everywhere uh, and no solution it's just a fisty cuffs uh, so let's watch our natures there's seven emotions mercy or fury it's your choice if you are merciful you get mercy if you are furious you get a return of fury thank you for listening uh we will meet again next saturday about the same time but tomorrow is the singular one at 3 pm let your singular speaking friends know thank you for listening i am dr lars mendis my whatsapp number is 0763134800 any clip you want you can write for that send a note then my uh, app is golden nuggets available from app store as well as google it is free to download thank you for listening